Thanksgiving is an interesting holiday. It's one of 11 federal holidays and is, in fact, the first federal holiday. On Thursday, November 26, 1789, President George Washington issued a proclamation for a day of public thanksgiving and prayer. Beginning in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln encouraged Americans to recognize the last Thursday of November as a day of thanksgiving. It's the only federal holiday that is also a church holy day, a day that often begins with a service of thanksgiving at church, followed by a thanksgiving meal at home. At Lord of Life, we gather together on Thanksgiving Eve for an ecumenical service of thanksgiving with our neighbors from Congregation Beth Shalom and Shepherd of the Hills United Methodist Church. That service had to be canceled at the last minute due to an outbreak of COVID-19 at the host church. So you get this brief video instead. How can a federal holiday also be a religious holy day? That's not true for Independence Day or Labor Day or even New Year's Day or Memorial Day, even though there might be watch night services, prayers, and commemorations on those latter two holidays. Thanksgiving is different. Everyone recognizes the need to give thanks. We don't all or always recognize who to thank. We give thanks for the people who serve the public. Before the pandemic, we may have focused on the people at the top of the food chain, the titans of industry who run things. But we quickly learn that the truly essential workers are those who produce, distribute, sell, and serve the food that we eat. The people who drive buses, trains, and planes. The people who keep us safe from fire, from crime, and from illness. The list is long. And it begins at the bottom of the food chain. They deserve our thanks. But Thanksgiving is unique in that it is both a civic holiday and a religious holy day. We thank people. We also thank God. Jesus was once approached by ten lepers asking for mercy. He sent them to the priest for proof of their impending healing. All ten were healed. One returned to give thanks. We can lament the lack of gratitude. Were not ten healed? Or we can be thankful that God was good to all of them, both the thankful and thankless. Americans will give thanks today for the food we eat, for the family we have, and for the freedom we enjoy. All have been blessed and have so many reasons to give thanks on this holiday. You are also giving thanks to God on this holy day. Like the one who was healed and returned to give thanks, you know that you are not whole if something is missing. As we sing, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Happy Thanksgiving. May you be happy, healthy, and whole. And I've included a recording of one of my favorite choir anthems, John Rutter's Look at the World. This recording is in English, but several years ago when I was in Germany and went to church on Sunday, it was the weekend when Germans celebrated their Thanksgiving, called Erntedank, and the choir sang this anthem in German. Just a reminder that what we consider a quintessential American holiday is actually universal and celebrated by thankful people around the world.